The favorite toy. Girls, did any of you see my teddy? Doma, let's look for teddy tomorrow. It's time for bed. Oh, I'm ready to drop. Mm. I'll be quick. He's here somewhere. Maybe he fell. Teddy, it's late. It's time for bed now. All right, let's see what we've got here. These belong in the museum. Oh. I've seen you before. Are you magic? You probably belong in the museum, too. Dorma, are you still looking? I thought my teddy was here. Dorma, you are too old for toys and teddy bears. You can sleep without him. Okay. Don't worry, teddy. I'll find you tomorrow. All right, sit here. Hooray! We're alive! It's time to play! Bless you! Let's play together! Look at what I can do! <laughs> hey! Where are you going? Fine! See ya! Ah, there's so much stuff here! That's an interesting cupboard! a trick! I want to be big, too! Ah. Did you keep looking for him even at night? Yes, but then Daria woke up and said I'm too old for toys. That I should act my age and fall asleep without my teddy. I don't need him anymore. But Teddy isn't just a toy. He's my friend. We'll find him, don't worry. Mr. Immortal has a spell for finding lost things. Hey, what's wrong? Let's play circus. Look, I have a whole troop here, and you will be the main event. Why are you crying? You're tired of sitting there? Of course. Why didn't I think of that? A traveling circus. Hey, wait. We haven't taken our troop with us. Fine, I'll bring the troop. You'll get the audience. Teddy, where are you? <laughs> Woohoo! That's good. Keep going. Teddy, he's here. And there's our audience. Prepare to be amazed by our astounding circus performance. Awesome! Where'd it come from? Maybe the teachers did it as a surprise. Our first act is the Living Tower! I have a bad feeling about this. Taller! Taller! Even more! Oh, flowers! Oh, great! Oh, yeah! What a tremendous tower! Let's make it taller! It's not tremendous at all! It's going to fall on the school! No, it's not! Oh, an ice tower! What an awesome circus! What is going on? Let this bewitched being return to its original form. Oh, Marlene, form. you can't. You made him even bigger. We need to know what kind of magic brought the toy to life. Otherwise, <laughs> the spell won't work correctly. <laughs> life elixir, growth potion. So that's why there are large chess pieces and clowns walking around. Maybe they were the ones who took Teddy. La, 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 Be amazed by the juggling clown extraordinaire. Watch out. This is why I don't like chess. Are you? Girls, watch out! I'm activating protection! I can't hold this much longer! I'll help you! <laughs> Leave it! Let it fall! We'll come up with something else! Hey, clown! Just what did you do with my teddy? I found his ribbon, so give him back! Oh, I need my teddy! He's my friend! You lost uh? your teddy, huh? I know what to do. Marlene, if you shrink him, Dorma will fall. You are not part of my troop. All right, fine. I'll take you. You'll be <laughs> our flying acrobat. Hello. <laughs> we need to distract him. Hey, clown. We're artists, too. What's this? Wonderful. Tree frogs. A real circus. Hey, I'm riding a horse. Nice. A round 
of applause. What an awesome troop we are. And finally, my act, the flying acrobat. No, oh. to the moon. <laughs> I would never guess that a simple toy could do something like that. I wish I had a friend like that. And what shall we do with him? Put him somewhere far away. The museum? Maybe it'd be better if we found him a new owner. Somebody who would play with him. Girls, I leave you alone for one day. And we end up with an entire circus outside. So, who's responsible for this mess? Oh, my clown, where did you find him? It's been so long. You are my favorite toy. <coughs> <clears throat> you see, when I was a child, this toy was my best friend. <laughs> and frankly, I'm very glad to see him again. Hello, old friend. The greatest of them all. <laughs> You know there's good news when the class president is smiling. Well, how was your first meeting with the teachers? The Immortal and Grunwald decided to visit each other with their students so we can all study together once in a while. And... Uh, we go to them first! We we go go to go to it. We've never visited another magic school before. Do you think we'll get along? Yes, will they like us? What if we get there and something goes wrong? Aww. Calm down. Everyone will have a great time. I just know it. We'll just have to make sure we're wearing the right color. For example, red. Red is the best color for getting noticed. We'll stand out so much they can't possibly forget us. What if we go wearing all black? That way, everyone will know we take our studies seriously. No, we should obviously wear red. Hmm. Huh. Nocturna the Wise wears black, and she's the most respected wizard there is. But Rosa the Adept wears red, and everyone knows she's the greatest of all time. Let's not argue. Let's see what the magic mirror thinks we should do. The magic mirror? The one that Leshy made? Yep. Come. <laughs> these magic mirrors can do loads of things. Look, it says in these instructions that magic mirrors can produce magical yeah. sunshine bunnies as oh. well. <sighs> Had an idea. Got it! Stop still! Oops! Is it cracked? Mm, it looks all right. Oh, Mira, so radiant. Tell me truly, please. Who's the greatest, most interesting, most important witch? Rosa or Nocturna? Hmm. Rosa and Nocturna are important for sure. But the most important and greatest of all is Yaga. Oh no, do you realize what this means? That we should wear green when we go? Like Yaga? It means the mirror is broken, and I bet the teachers are not going to be happy about that. We'll need a special spell to repair it. A mirror spell should do the trick, and for that we'll need a singing frog's reflection. <laughs> the blue raven's reflection. <laughs> And some chicken moss. <laughs> What's so funny? I said I'd clean up and I will. Sometime this week or next week. Huh? Those kids. Now we've got the potion. The mirror will definitely work. Oh, Mira, so radiant. Tell me truly, please. Huh? Who is really the greatest, most interesting, most important witch? Thank you for the potion. Much better. Now I can see clearly. I know the answer, and the greatest witch of all is her for sure. Rosa? Nocturna? Nonsense. It's Baba Yaga. Impossible! Eh, that's not news. I already knew that. Thanks to the mirror, now everyone else will too. Where's my mirror? <laughs> Stop! Give us back that mirror! <laughs> Sunshine Bunny! Sunlight Fold, hop where you're told! Hop to Baba Yaga's broom! Uh -huh. <laughs> well, that's 
see that? Even the bunnies love me now. <laughs> oh, oh! Uh, wait! Stop still! Uh, stop still! I caught it! Hooray! Give me my mirror! The world has to know the truth! Where'd you go? Aha! There you are! Hmm. What's going on? Oh, well, so much for my mirror. <sighs> I think she's gone. I have no idea why the mirror still isn't working. Oh, it's the monster! Help! It's okay. It's me, the protector of the forest, Leshy. We met before, you know. What's brought you all the way out to the middle of my woods? We were just trying to fix the magic mirror. You broke it? It doesn't look broken, but we can make another one, just in case, as a spare. <clears throat> Here you go. Give it a try. Who's the greatest, most interesting, most important witch? Yoga! <gasps> to tell the truth, I think Baba Yaga is the greatest. She helps moss and berries oh. grow. She even cares for weeds and toadstools. Also, her swamp soups are delicious. Oh, <laughs> I was just passing through. Come by for soup. I also make moss stew with boiled roots. We'll stop by later. For magic mirrors, the person who matters most to the maker is the greatest. Want to try making one? I can show you how. Yes, yes we please. do. Yeah. Mirror, tell me truly, who is the greatest witch of all? Marlene. Yeah, Marlene always has good advice, and she's always been around to help. I think I see now. The clothes we wear don't matter. It's what we do while we wear them. The color of our clothes doesn't make us great. It's all in the actions we take. And we know they love botany at Grunwald School, so we'll take them on magical plants. That's a wonderful idea. I'm sure Grunwald will be delighted at your thoughtfulness. The genie. Come on, she's getting away. <laughs> This is your last hour. Defend your land. Ooh. <laughs> Beware of evil wizard Rumi. She can destroy us. That is only if she's done running. <laughs> <gasps> oh, no. That's the immortal's favorite face. Uh, do you think he's going to notice? Oh, great. We should not have come in here. We know we aren't allowed to play in his office. Oh, dear. He is not going to be happy when he sees this. <sighs> no more Grunwald's Gardens field trip. He won't see it. I'll do a quick repairing spell. Earth, water, fire, air. They have the power to repair. You oh, did yay. it. Oh, well done, Rooney. It was great. <gasps> <gasps> Who could that be? <gasps> It's a genie. Do you think he grants wishes? Mm-hmm. I call dibs on genie. Listen, I'll wish first. I wish for, uh, no. I wish for that, uh, what kind of wish should I wish for? Hold on, Rooney. There are different kinds of genies. <gasps> oh, no. I think he found something in there and ate it. Oh, that's not good. Who cares? A genie that little could be a big problem. But we don't know if he could become one. Lisa, let's go to the library and mm -hmm. find out how to put that genie back in the vase. You three, find the genie and distract him. And don't tell the immortal. <gasps> he ate my candy! <laughs> my gingerbread as well. Well, yes, he probably hasn't eaten for a thousand years. Here, little genie. <laughs> Have some unprotected berry cupcakes and dried plumberries. This genie's no big deal. Oh, where'd he go? Hmm, he probably went somewhere else to eat. <gasps> the kitchen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, our little problems not so little now. Girls, maybe we should tell the immortal everything before it gets worse. And before the consequences get bigger. 
Here's a consequence for you. There won't be anything left for lunch if the genie finishes off all our soup. Lure him to the greenhouse. It's full of apples. Doma, can you conjure up a delicious red herring? <laughs> apples will last him a while. Uh-oh. Our little problem's gotten so much larger. <laughs> Want an apple? I've got one here. <gasps> Maybe he's finally had enough to eat. Oh, no. He's headed towards the cellar. Perfect. He can sit down there and think about what he did wrong. But that's where all the school's food Archie, the drawer is still locked. Do you have the key on you? Shame on you, Archie. Nobody but you could have taken the cookies. So why did you do it? They were his favorite. They had coconut flakes, for the record. It wasn't Archie! The genie ate them! We were accidentally playing in your office and then we accidentally released the genie and then we didn't want to tell you because he was so cute! Okay, reverse spell, stop! Uh there's a genie? The genie from my vase? He'll gobble up our entire stockpile. Okay, Lisa, ready. Pudding, buns, cake! Hey, we figured it out! It's a glutton genie! He's really hungry because he's been hibernating for a thousand years, and he won't go back to sleep until he's eaten all his favorite treats. Lisa, have the tablecloth make some hot cocoa. Mr. Immortal, is this really the right time for hot cocoa? It's not mine. It's to give to the genie. That's always been his favorite. He'll take a sip and go right off to sleep. Mug of hot cocoa! Hmm. <sighs> now, back to your home. Uh, yay! <laughs> Shh! Don't wake him up. We're sorry, Mr. Immortal. The more we hoped the little genie would just keep being small, the bigger that he got. Oh, and it ate our lunch and our dinner. And Archie got in trouble for nothing. The whole harvest disappeared. That's how problems are. The more you try to hide them, the bigger and bigger they get. Like a gluttonous genie. So when a problem happens like this, you should come and tell us right away. Yes, then we can work together to fix whatever it is. Mr. Immortal, I guess you don't want to take us on the field trip to Grunwald's Gardens anymore, after all this. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> if I didn't, where else would we go to get seeds to replace our harvest? Yay! Wish granted! And we didn't need a genie! <laughs> <laughs> the Star Glow. That constellation is a giant. Wow, you're right. And that one's the gnome? You got it. Just like it says in the great astronometer's book. Then the next one is the big dragon. Amazing. Dario, you have all the stars memorized. Oh, but I know which one is next. See that one over there? That's the small dragon. It's like the big dragon, only it's smaller. Girls, I have your test result. The professor has finished grading your papers. One of you got a perfect score. <sighs> Whoa. Yay! An A+. Plus. Oh, I can't believe I missed two constellations. <sighs> I'll never become an astronomer like this. <gasps> I wish I may, I wish I might. Have this wish tonight make me an astronomer. <gasps> Look, girls, it's the great astronomer's map. <gasps> Whoa! Girls, it's not a normal map. It leads us to different tasks. Whoever completes them all gets the star globe. With that, you can become an astronomer. Really? This is a wish come true. But there's no way I can complete these tasks alone. Girls, can you please help me? I love adventures before bedtime. So, task number one. Find a star shooting up. Huh, easy peasy. Really? You know, shooting stars usually fall down. 
even the magical ones. <laughs> then what if we just grab it and throw it back in the sky? Seriously? How would we do that? Wait, girls, I know. They say a star reflected in the magic well flies up into the sky and becomes a real star. <sighs> Didn't I tell you? That's just a myth. There's no way that this is going to work. <gasps> it worked! It didn't reach the sky. We have to catch it. Quickly! Star, wait! We won't hurt you! Yay! It flew up! It seems like it led us here. What's the next task? Let's see. It appeared just now. Light up the missing constellation. Over here, on the wall, there are drawings of constellations on the stone. But it looks like one is missing. Well, the lighthouse is in the right place, and so is the gnome. Ah, oh, the mouse in the hole! It should be here! Hooray! Now what? You forgot the nose. The constellation's called the mouse in the hole because there's a little star right here in the middle. Oh, it's nose. Your shiny excellence. Would you be so kind as to fly right up here? Yay! Yay! Hey, it's the third task. Go boldly into the cave. Even in such darkness, the stars will light your way forward. Head towards the giant in the sky. Okay, that's clear. Let's go. What's going on? It isn't supposed to get dark. Come on, we need to head towards the constellation of the giant. I think it was the moth, which would be right over there. Oh, way to go, Dorma! After that is the flying carpet and the lighthouse. Whoa! It's so bright in here now. Keep going, Dorma. Let's see, um... There's the wizard's hat, the big dragon, the little dragon, and the giant. Let's go. Are you sure? Oh. Flying carpet, lighthouse, wizard's hat, big dragon, little dragon, giant. I'm sure. Quick. <laughs> now that's what I call a real adventure. But who's supposed to give us the globe? That would be me. Uh, hello. It's nice to meet you. You are... I'm the great <laughs> astronometer. Giant! So you're the reason the ground was shaking? Hmm. I didn't mean to scare you. Dorma, I'm here to fulfill your wish. This is for you. You can keep watch over the night sky, lighting up new stars on the globe, cleaning old ones, restoring their bright shine, and distinguishing those that fade away. I'm sorry, but there must be some mistake. I looked for the globe because I needed help, not because I could help it. I'm afraid I'd be a bad astronomer. I didn't even ace my test. What if I make a mistake? <laughs> even the very best of astronometers make mistakes sometimes. That's why I created the Star Globe. If you use it to check your work, then soon you won't be afraid of mistakes, and your wish will be granted. You will be a wonderful astronometer. Dorma, you're already so good at astronometry. You were the one who thought to go to the well. You remembered the mouse's nose. And in the dark cave, you named all the constellations. Girls, then thank you very much, Mr. Great Astronometer. I'll keep a close eye on the stars, that I promise. The Great Astronometer. Yes, I know him. He was my classmate. He's now an outstanding specialist. He always had his head in the clouds. Used to say it was easier to look after the stars that way. Oh, Mr. Immortal. The well's reflection became a star. So I need to add it here. A new star on the star globe. But what should we name it? The answer to that is easy. The real star tonight was you, Dorma. So naturally, the new star should be called... Princess Dorma! Winter in Wondermont. Be on your best behavior. We won't be long. As soon as we buy... What is it we're buying today? The usual. All sorts of magical things. Magical things we've run out of. Oscar gave us such interesting pendants. Whatever dress you wear, it matches perfectly. I've tried it with all my clothes. You should try it with something warmer. It's freezing in here. Helen, 
Are you okay? I'm sad because today's a holiday. Holiday? What holiday makes people sad? I'm sad because I can't celebrate it. Today is Snowland Day. It's the best winter holiday. Snow falls from morning to night, and everyone goes ice skating. We share our cocoa and gingerbread, and at night we meet under the holiday tree and exchange gifts. But all of that happens in Snowland. What wonderment. You should have told us sooner, because then we could have put it on our holiday calendar. But how can we celebrate here? There's no snow. It's impossible. Girls, the library has a spell that summons winter in summertime. Well, should we bring winter to Wondermont? Oh, it's so cold. Looks like there's some fine print. Winter magic is very fragile. When the ice ball appears, you must not... Must not what? I don't know. The ink is faded. Just must not. I think it says... We must not leave Helen without her favorite holiday. Just because of fine print, the spell hasn't faded. That's all we need. Frosty air, fluffy snow, winter wonders, please be still. Give us the chance to see snowmen dance. Away with summer air, so winter is everywhere. It's working. It sure is. Even our bears have gone white. 127, 128. I just got started. What is happening? Snow? In summer? That's you! Hello there. Do you have any idea what's going on? Why is it so cold? By the way, my name is Ash! Hey! Wait up! Come with me to the school! Otherwise you'll freeze! <gasps> Look! So cool! Why haven't we summoned winter before? How beautiful! Look inside! There are tiny snowflakes! Uh, I figured out what we must not do! Uh-oh! You could have warned us that your winter was starting this afternoon. Vasco is out in the forest today, and he's allergic to cold weather. We have to go find him quick, and bring him straight back. I'll look to the left, and you... We'll be waiting for you here. Handle it on your own. It's his fault for going out alone. Aren't you worried about Vasco? Look at this. The girls wanted to summon Winter for me. And they did it. But they did it wrong. And the magic cold went into their hearts. Now they don't feel anything. So we need to save them too? Yes, we do. Let's split up. You find Vasco, and I'll warm up the girls. Before their hearts freeze over. <laughs> Vasco! 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 I hear you, Vasco! Just keep sneezing! Vasco! I'm coming to get you! Girls, look over here! Grandma taught me how to handle heart frost. To warm a frozen heart, be kind and funny, and make them smile. <laughs> And now, the showstopper! Ta-da! Come on, girls! Could you please laugh? I know who you are! You're the legendary sorcerer of the snowy north! And you brought this false winter! But I won't let you freeze all my friends! Vasco is cold and in danger, and I'm here doing silly magic tricks. He would never abandon us like this. He came to save me from the six-legged beast, and he saved Rooney on the flying disc. And once, he protected us from those rocks. Uh, I can't stop shivering. It's so cold. My tongue's gone numb. Are we in a freezer? Girls, you finally awakened. Quickly, we have to find the boys. Vasco! Vasco! Demon! Let's do it. Bless you, buddy. I see them over there. Guys! We're here to help you! Here's some hot cocoa and gingerbread. Vasca, why are the pendants glowing? We've never studied magic like this before. Oh, that? In El Dorado, we give these pendants to our friends, and they glow whenever we think of each other. And they warmed us up. In Snowland, we have a saying. Friends keep you warm in the cold. <laughs> so, you gave Helen a surprise. Snow, hot cocoa, gingerbread? 
Good work. Do you know what else is missing from our Wondermont Snowland Day? Yay! Presents! Though you went a bit overboard with the blizzard. Now let's see. How about we reduce the wind by a third? Ah, I think that's better. Look, the Sorcerer of the North is back. What? That's a snowman. He's very kind. Kind? Then let's... Give him a cup of cocoa, too. <laughs> <laughs> the Newcomers. Wow. What a heroic painting. I've also got a shield like he does. Your pardon, Sir Knight. I usually summon this shield myself, but this time it appeared on its own. <clears throat> Is it broken? I hope the new boys like soccer. I hope not. I dread the notion of the three of you running around together. Don't worry, Daria. They seemed very well behaved, if you ask me. <gasps> well behaved, you say? I'll have you know. We do not walk about the hallway waving shields around here. But the shield popped out on its own. Hmm. What a lack of manners. I planted these sleeping ups over a month ago. When are they going to grow? Have you tried singing them a growing song? Yes. Watered them with the rainbow? No, not yet. <clears throat> what you need is some magic for the soil. Here. Back in my village, if something didn't want to grow, they would call me. Are you sure about this? Magical herbs aren't like digging potatoes. You must be careful. Just don't ruin anything. Please be careful. No! No! Now you've done it. It took a whole month to grow them. Please, you have to help us sort all this out. There's nothing to sort out. We didn't want your help, but you forced it. <clears throat> Watch out! It wasn't me. Maybe not. What about you, Levon? I didn't do anything wrong. Heroes don't randomly wave their shields around. But a hooligan would. I'm not a hooligan, I'm a hero. In training. Come now, don't argue. It is clear to me that something mysterious is happening here. Do any of you have a suggestion? Perhaps the boys have been cursed. Perhaps. Quite possible. Let's try to detect it. <laughs> Vaki has never been wrong before. There's no curse. Then it was on purpose. We were trying to help out. Oh, yeah? Helping? It's true. Oh, really? It's true? You did do it on purpose. Girls, you're starting a fight again. Are you sure you should? We must not make accusations before we figure this out. We're going to see Mr. Immortal. In the meantime, no more arguing. Yeah. I think we should wait outside. We're just too dangerous for this school. We are? There, see? You're going to make the school fly away. As heroes, it's our duty to save the school from the two of us by becoming wandering wizards. Perfect. We'll wander around in search of adventures and dinner. And so, the boys have gone missing? We've searched the entire school for them, Mr. Immortal. Hmm. Then we must find them immediately. Girls, stay right there. I think the boys must have been offended by us. Why should they be offended? It makes no sense. I don't know. What if they left because of us? Let's find them. But we were told to stay here. I agree. We should go find them. Come on. Did you find them? Not yet. Me neither. <gasps> Girls, look! I found raspberries. Dorma, we aren't here to collect raspberries. Look there, it's a floating rock. All sorts of them. Dorma, don't fall behind. But 
There are so many floating rocks here. <gasps> Come quickly. I found them. <gasps> what are you doing there? N nothing. Hey, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The girls found us. Give me your hand. A real hero doesn't need help. <gasps> you have to leave. It's too dangerous here. Are you listening? Get out of here now. We're not leaving you. Yes, and we're sorry. We know we were wrong. Give me your hand. We'll pull you up. Hey, Bosco, let them help us. They can pull us up. <laughs> Thank you. That was very heroic of you. Look out, everyone! <laughs> Look! My magic! It's finally working again! Automatic. It is a very rare magical phenomenon. You see, it happens when a magician becomes very sad. Their magic begins to lose its precision, and that is what happened to the boys. Yes, they lost their friends and their school, so of course they were sad. Exactly, and you girls were not very hospitable to them. Tell us, Mr. Immortal, do the students at this school sleep in trees? Yes, that is correct. And it's a great idea for a surprise. Here, oh. make our home your home. I hereby vow to defend Wondermont as my home. I hereby call the Top Punk! <laughs> <laughs> Midnight Magic. <gasps> Ooh, is it a new spell? I'm not sure yet. What do you think it could be? We must find out. <gasps> it's a giant piece of candy. Uh -huh. It's not candy, Rooney. You see? It's a frame for photographs from a sea trip. Oh, you're both wrong. It's not candy or a frame. This is a giant gemstone. I'm sure of it. I know a thing or two about gems. A gemstone shaped like this is called a princess cut. Well, in that case, this could be a spell to create gemstones. That's what it has to be. I agree. Let's make gemstones. I want a giant one as big as my notebook. Mm -hmm. As big as a pot. A teapot. Doria, what are you waiting for? A perfect setting. It's very important that the spell is cast in the right place at the right time. Of course, and I think the right time is now. Let's see what the directions say. In between two days, in a very special place. A place where the walls have knowledge. What does that even mean? In a place where the walls have knowledge. Hmm. Sounds like the library. Uh, between two days must mean at the stroke of midnight. Hmm. Can we do it earlier? We're not allowed to stay up till midnight. Well, then maybe we could sneak out just before midnight. <laughs> what about Archie? If he saw we were gone, he'd go tell Mr. Immortal. Mr. Immortal, look what Archie just showed me. This is a ghost chessboard. It was a gift he got on his birthday. Hmm, beautiful, isn't it? And convenient, too. The pieces move themselves. You don't even have to touch them at all. <laughs> and do they think on their own as well? We'll see. Archie needs to check on the girls. In the meanwhile, we can play a game if you'd like to. And then Archie can play whoever wins. Right. What is at E2? The King's Pawn, Mr. Immortal. Well, then go ahead. What are you waiting for? I'm so tired of that noise. Wish it would stop. We're going to end up with headaches all day tomorrow. He's gone, it worked. Woo! Yeah! Ooh. 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 <gasps> <gasps> I'm worried. I hope Archie's all right. All your clones out there might frighten him. You can't scare a ghost. Archie's a scary one. Ooh. On this night, with the timing just right, the darkness we oppose. Shine the light, gemstone bright, and clear away the shadows. Oh, how beautiful it is. Would it be all right if I take a little piece of it? Doma, of course not. We can't destroy it. I know, I'm just kidding. We couldn't anyway. Look how hard that stone is. Actually, gemstones only appear to be hard. If you crack their weak spot or flaw, they fall apart easily. See? I told you, I know a thing or two about gems. What's going on, Mr. Immortal? I don't know. Well, that's interesting, because I'd have your queen in two more moves. Professor, I have nothing to do with it. 
Something's gone wrong. Let's go. What do we do with it? We can hang it in our dormitory and admire it. Hey, what are those thingies? Hmm? Oh, looks like a ghost chess set. Archie's. But why is it in there? It's stuck inside the gemstone and can't get out. I've got it. This spell is typically used to clear a place of ghosts. So then basically, this is a trap for ghosts. Good thing we sent Archie out into the woods. Otherwise... <gasps> no! Go away! Archie, go now! Daria, do something fast! I don't know how! We smashed it in time. Well done, Dorma. Sorry, Archie. Girls, there you are. What are you doing up at this hour? Hmm. It's a trap for ghosts. Well, fancy that. I thought we destroyed all these spells. We got rid of every copy when we employed Archie. Isn't that true? That's what I recall. But perhaps one of the copies survived. You know how hard they try to escape. Not this time. So the question remains. Who among you cast this spell? I did, Mr. Immortal. No, not just Doria. We all did it together. We hope you'll forgive us, sir. I admire your curiosity and your desire to try things out for yourselves. But you gave Archie quite a fright. Uh-huh. So a ghost can be scared after all. Let's hope you've learned your lesson. In the future, don't cast a spell unless you know what it is for. We will bring it to you first. Wherever you are. And we won't try to cost it. Very good, well done. Tomorrow, we will go through every book in the library. Then, we'll make sure there definitely aren't any more loose spells hanging about. But Mr. Immortal, today is Saturday. And tomorrow is Sunday. So you girls will have all day long to complete the task, won't you? <laughs> the Seven League Boots. Rudy, you need to improve your grades. Otherwise, you'll have to retake all of your exams. All of my exams? Every single one of them. <sighs> oh dear. Now I'm even having nightmares about retaking everything. Today we are holding a magical race. To finish in first, just pick up the pace. And if you can finish ahead of the pack, then there's a good chance you won't be held back. Huh? The professor said so himself. Oh, well, not in verse. I turned it into poetry myself. <gasps> a race? Now's my chance. If I go fast, then I can pass. Are we late or is Bruni early? I don't remember you ever coming to class before us. Is it surprising? I'll have you know that I love learning. Good morning. Let us continue our lesson on magical transportation. It's not always possible to use magic from a distance. Therefore, should someone require urgent magical intervention... Such as an emergency rescue? Precisely. In such dire situations, we use this method, the wonderful magic of transportation. Today, you are being given a rare opportunity to prove your skills and speed. Have a look outside. Oh, wow. Those boots! They're prettier than I had ever imagined. Oh? <laughs> You'll be divided into teams. Then we'll prepare the race. Uh, uh, oh. I choose a stove. It can go anywhere, and it's as fast as the wind. I'll take the Seven League Boots. If anyone knows shoes, it's me. If you'd read the chapter on aerodynamics, you'd know the flying carpet is the faster one. Perhaps, but I've flown a carpet before. I'd like to try the stove now. Good. It seems we have our teams decided. Now, allow me to remind you of the rules. Whoever's magical transport crosses the finish line first will be awarded the highest score. And won't have to retake exams. Yes, you won't have to retake exams. Yes, okay, let's go. Here, Lisa, let me help you. Uh, oh, thank you, Rooney. Uh, What's wrong, girls? Uh, nothing. Everything's just fine. Good. Get set and go! What's 
wrong with her? Nothing. It must be a shortcut, but that breaks the rules. If we follow her, then we'll lose. We need more firewood. There's no way I'm losing this race. Gather ye toads, tools, while ye may <laughs> Stop that! I'm sorry! I'm not doing this on purpose! The boots won't stop! Now you've done it! Run to the Enchanted Swamp! At least while you're stuck there, you won't be able to trample my garden! Bruni, I'm worried about Lisa. Dorma, we're so close to winning this! It's not our fault Lisa didn't train harder. I agree with the part about Lisa, but you're wrong about who will win! <laughs> we'll see about that! Someone help! What's wrong, Lisa? I can't control the boots anymore! What's happening? Oh, your boots unzipped! That must be why I can't control them! And Baba Yaga sent me to the swamp! Oh no! This is all my fault! Hold on, Lisa! We'll save you! <laughs> run, run! Into the swamp where you belong! Ah! Oh, now it's the two of you on the stove! Someone oh. help me! I'll teach you a lesson! First it's your boots, then you use your stove to crush my toadstools! Lisa, take my hand! <laughs> Since the race is over, the rescue mission begins now! I'll show you both! Rooney, help me! <laughs> Stubborn shoes! Take them off or we'll end up in the swamp! If you want to be in the swamp so bad, go ahead, but not with us! <clears throat> oh, Rooney! Thank you for saving me! Aha! Gotcha! Oh. Now to teach you a lesson! Come on! Uh, uh, what? what? I'm the one sinking! Girls, what took so long? Why was the flying carpet the only one on time? On top of that, where is the stove? And the Seven League Boots. Professor, it's my fault. I was in such a hurry that I broke the boot zipper. I didn't tell anyone and put Lisa in danger. I'm sorry. You know, you could have told me. But you saved me from Baba Yaga. So of course I forgive you. And Rooney caught up with the boots. It's all thanks to Rooney's speed. Well, well, it seems that I missed some interesting events. Professor, Baba Yaga is stuck. <gasps> Remember the purpose of magical transport. It is meant to be used to save those in dire need. That's why we use racers for training purposes. Therefore, since you saved Lisa, Rooney will receive the highest grade. Hooray! But if you don't start studying, no extra credit will prevent you from retaking classes. And of course, you must also <laughs> clean up the mess left over from your adventures. Are we all clear? I promise to apply my speed to cleaning up, and I'll also repair the boots and help fix Baba Yaga's garden. Oh, and will you sweep out my heart? <laughs> I didn't clean because of your antics. You can fix the roof, too, and clean the cauldron. And take out the trash. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Flower power. Oh, nobody ever remembers me. Nobody says a word. Oh. <laughs> Under my uh, direction, you might say. Actually, the girls did it all by themselves. Aren't they lovely? Ah, indeed. These are wonderful tulips. What place do you think we will win? Isn't it obvious, sir? We'll win first place. No doubt about it. Ah? Uh -huh. Hmm. We've never been able to win first place before. True, because we've never been in the contest. That's the reason why. Nevertheless, first place or not, these flowers look absolutely fantastic. My gratitude to our fine instructor. Oh, thank you, Mr. Immortal. But the girls did all the work. I've got mail. It's a card, but I wonder who it could be from. Let's find out. Hmm. To our dear Miss Baba Yaga. Look at the spelling. D-E-E-R. It's supposed to be D-E-A-R. What is this? We would all like to wish you, our beloved old woman, the happiest of birthdays. Huh? You wrote this, didn't you? Huh. So that's how it is. I am only 280 years old, and you're calling me an old woman? Hmm. You can have your card back. Just imagine. What if we really do win first prize? I think Marlene was just being nice to us. 
I mean, it's a flower contest for all the magic schools in the world. Hmm. Does it really matter that much to all of you whether or not we win? Yes, it does. Flowers shouldn't be for contest. What are they for, then? Flowers are what knights give to the fair ladies. Hmm. What knights are those? You've been reading too many stories. So what if I have? What's wrong with that? It's romantic. I wish there were boys at our school. No, thank you. Ugh, my brothers never gave flowers. I know. Knights only live in fairy tales. <sighs> it's a shame. Oh, goodness. Look over there. It's a knight. How can that be? Rooney, did you just summon up the knight? Did you do that just to tease us? I didn't summon anything. Uh-huh. As if I would believe that. Whatever. Stop arguing, girls. He's walking toward our flowers. Then, does he want to give them to Lisa? I don't understand. Why would he give me flowers? Let's find out. Hurry! It's too late. Our poor flowers. He took them and left. Then does that mean that they weren't for me after all? Shh! Do you hear that clanking? That's him! Uh, why is the witch's hut here? Oh, no! The hut is the one who picked our flowers, and the knight is saving them! <gasps> Archie! Yes, it was him all along. He was listening to us and went off to find a real knight. Hmm. He was trying to do something nice for us. Was he? Did it ever occur to him that we have a contest? Award you the order of, um, what do you call it? Flower power. Mm -hmm. Hooray! 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 Girls, who has a barrette? What for? To use for a medal. Actually, order is an honorary society, so the barrette isn't necessary. It is. Our order definitely needs one. <laughs> Thank you, Archie. Well done, Archie. Look! Baba Yaga's hut dropped this. I saw it. A card for Baba Yaga. It's her birthday. So then, the hut wanted to give her a present. I sort of lost my temper. So, um, thank you for the birthday card. <clears throat> uh? We wanted to wish you a... Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! What? Don't be afraid. He's from the Order of Flower Power. He's here to say happy birthday, too. Happy birthday! Oh, well, what a lovely surprise, girls. Thank you. All this kindness and I have nothing to share. I didn't prepare anything. But not to worry, I'll whip up some leech soup right away. Uh, um... You do like leech soup, don't you? So the angle formed by ABC equals the angle formed by CAB. And that is how you prove this particular theorem. Did you get all that? Sure, we got it. Ah, wonderful. Uh, by the way, what did you girls think of Baba Yaga's leech soup? <laughs> what else did she have to offer you girls? She had some treats for us, eclairs and donuts. And little tots, too. I think I like the Napoleons most of all. <laughs> they were delicious. <laughs> Reflections. <laughs> Rooney, not so fast. What about your bed? <sighs> Why bother making it? I'll sleep in it again tonight. Lisa, we're going to be late. Doria, come on. I can't go out looking like this. You have natural beauty, but you must work for knowledge. Wake up, sleepyhead. Oh, just one more minute. Class starts late today. Sleeping too much isn't good for you. 
Who made you in charge of sleeping? <laughs> She's right. Stop ordering us around. You bossy. Well, clearly, without me, you would all oversleep. Then you'd be late, and your grades would suffer. That's quite enough, girls. We're friends. Helen, you're letting them off easy. They'll never learn any discipline that way. How can we forget? You know what? I want a new classmate. One who isn't bossy. Someone nicer. Fine, then. Maybe I would be better off, too. <gasps> With other princesses. You're better off changing yourselves. I was only trying to help them improve. And yet this is how they treat me. <gasps> huh? What's this? Oh, a mirror. Oh! <laughs> Let me out of here immediately! <laughs> I cannot, because I didn't send you in there. Who did? Your friends. They wished for a new classmate to replace you. And awakened an ancient magic, and that's how I got here. <laughs> and soon I'll replace them with my own friends, like you asked. Lucky you! <gasps> Enough. I mustn't look in the mirror anymore. Time for us to catch your friends. Girls, I'm sorry for my horrible behavior. But I've changed. <gasps> I'll be the kind of friend you wanted. Huh? Let's have some fun. <laughs> oh no, how clumsy. Don't worry, I'll get it. You're a mess. Look. Thank you so much. Look at this place. It's nothing like inside the mirror, but I feel too lazy to play. Rooney, are you all right? You look tired. I feel fine. I just want to relax. Look what Daria and I found outside. Oh, wow. You should wear it. Thank you. Look how nice it is. Ah, now I can take this crown off. I simply can't stand all these shiny things. <laughs> Girls, what's wrong? I had a horrible nightmare. It was like we were replaced. It was terrifying. It was only a dream. Look, see for yourself. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Let's go have fun. Shh. We can't play yet. We still have to replace Helen. Then we can do anything we want. Or we can even do nothing at all. Just don't look into the mirror, or we'll be switched back again. Well then, let's replace Helen. <gasps> hmm. Hooray, it's hide and seek. My favorite. First to find Helen wins. <sighs> to get the cows back, I have to get the imposters to look into the mirror again. <sighs> oh, Helen. You who? Where are you? We just want to play. Hmm. I know you're in there. <gasps> Rooney, you're back. Thank you for helping me out. What about the others? Do you have a plan? In there. We've got the mirror. Now we just need to show it to the others. There she is. Oh, Lisa. Yes, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you. Thank you for saving me. We can't celebrate yet. Daria needs us. Where is she? She's getting away! Not yet! Toma, hold up the mirror! A 
But where's Daria? We were the ones who wished for this. We wanted a different Daria. And it was our fault. What do we do now? Hey, you, Mira! Give Daria back! We only want our Daria! Give her back! You know, girls, I treasure you so very much. Thank you for saving me. I don't want any other classmates. I only want you. <laughs>